everyone let us discuss this example in this example we have a function f of t is equal to t plus 1 when t lies in 0 and 2 and it is equal to 3 when t is greater than 2 and what we have to do we have to find laplace of f of t laplace of derivative of f and laplace of double derivative of f this thing we have to find first of all we will find laplace of f of t after that we will calculate their values okay so let us start with laplace of f of t Laplace of f of t. See, as you can see here, function has two different definitions. So, I will solve this problem with the help of definition of Laplace transform. You remember the definition of Laplace transform is integration 0 to infinity e raised to minus st f of t dt. Okay. So, such types of problems we have already solved okay, uh, at the beginning when we discuss definition of Laplace transform. After that, we have to put the value of f of t. But see, f of t has two different definitions for two different domains. So here also, I will split this integration in two parts. We have 0 to infinity. So I will write 0 to 2 and after that 2 to infinity. So that means we can write this integration in this way 0 to 2 plus 2 to infinity. This part is same e raised to minus st f of t dt here also i will write e raised to minus st f of t dt so now we can put the values of f of t here so this is equal to integration 0 to 2 e raised to minus st for 0 to 2 for 0 to 2 what is value of f of t it is t plus 1 i am writing it here plus integration 2 to infinity e raised to minus st 2 to infinity that means t greater than 2. So for t greater than 2 value of f of t is 3. So I should write 3 here. So now we have to solve these integrations. Now the question is how to solve this integration and how to solve that integration. So that one is comparatively easy since 3 is constant will come outside and simply you have to integrate that exponential function. But for first integral there is a product of two functions. So we have the formula integration uv uv1 minus u dash v2 plus u double dash v3 and so on so this technique we have already used in previous examples so you are familiar with that so what we do we have two functions so we select our u and v and after that we take successive derivatives of u and we take integrations of v and having alternating minus plus signs after few steps derivative of u will be 0 at that point we stop our process so now the question is how to select our u and v so we have a technique l i a t e this formula we have l means logarithmic functions i means inverse trigonometric sine inverse cos inverse tan inverse cot inverse sec inverse and cosec inverse a means algebraic or simply you can say polynomial function t means trigonometric sine cos tan cot sec cosec e means exponential function so if you focus on this one e raised to something is there obviously it is exponential function that means it belongs to last category and t plus 1 which is a polynomial function that means you can say algebraic function also so it belongs to this category so a comes before e so that's why i should interchange them so this is equal to integration 0 to 2 t plus 1 e raised to minus st dt let me write here dt so as i told you earlier 3 is a constant will come outside 2 to infinity e raised to minus st dt so we will solve this integration we have arranged in a proper way so that means our first function which is over u and the second function is v so we can use this formula let us use that formula here we have a space so this is equal to okay i'm writing it directly u as it is what is our u t plus 1 t plus 1 next v1 that means integration of v integration of exponential function is same only whatever the constant multiple of t we write in denominator so its integration will be e raised to minus st and constant multiple of minus uh, minus st is minus s here after that minus sign is there let me write here minus u dash that means derivative of u derivative of t is 1 derivative of 1 is 0 so derivative of this bracket is 1 only let me write next 
v2 that means one more integration of e so because of second integration one more s will come in denominator minus s square but see when you take square no need to write minus sign so that's why i simply wrote s square next plus sign is there double derivative of u that means one more derivative of this one but derivative of one is zero as i told you earlier when you get zero you have to stop your process there so this integration is over here having limits 0 to 2 let us go for this one now plus 3 plus 3 integration of e raised to minus st is e raised to minus st upon minus s with limits 2 to infinity am i right yes this is equal to i am going to put upper limit first i am going to put t is equal to 2 so we'll have 3 here 3 e raised to minus 2s correct upon minus s this minus e raised to minus 2s upon s square correct okay i am simply putting s is, uh, t is equal to 2 now i am putting t is equal to 0 minus sign when you put lower limit we always write minus sign here so if i put 0 0 0 plus 1 1 e raised to 0 is 1 1 upon minus s correct okay so here I am putting s t is equal to 0. See minus minus plus we will have. Since in outside there is already minus sign. When you solve the bracket there will be again minus sign minus minus plus. I am putting s is equal to t is equal to 0. e raised to 0 1 upon s square. Here plus 3 is there. Okay. So 3 let me write. When you put infinity you will have 0. e raised to infinity. e raised to minus infinity you will have 0 there minus minus I am putting 2 so e raised to minus 2s upon this minus s so I am writing minus minus plus okay so if you simplify let us see what will you get I am trying to write it properly okay so see minus s minus s okay so I will write it e raised to 3 e raised to minus 2s upon s that minus thing I am writing here minus e raised to minus 2s upon s square correct minus minus plus 1 by s plus 1 by s square see plus 3 e raised to minus 2s upon s this thing we have okay see what will happen these two terms will get cancelled to each other right since term all terms are same just they have opposite signs so they will get cancelled to each other if you add only three terms are remaining that will be the required laplace transform so that means this task is over now so that its value we have got there so now we have to find now laplace of f dash of t okay we will solve that part also simply make a screenshot of it then we will go further so laplace of f of t i have written here okay so this thing we have completed so let us go for laplace of f dash of t so if you remember the formula of laplace of f dash of t f of 0 is required there in previous video we have already seen the formula so f of 0 is required so first of all we will calculate f of 0 then we will go for laplace of f dash of t so now f of 0 we are going to calculate f of 0 so that means 0 lies in this interval getting so we are finding f of 0 but 0 lies in this interval so that's why i, I should follow this definition what is f of t t plus 1 f of t is equal to t plus 1 and I am putting t is equal to 0. So f of 0 will be 0 plus 1 which is 1. So in a simple using simple definition of f of t we found out f of 0. So therefore I am using the formula Laplace of f dash of t. So the formula is minus f of 0 plus s l of f of t. Okay let us put the values f of 0 1 minus 1 plus s L of f of t we have calculated. Let us put its value here. 1 by s plus 1 minus e raised to minus 2s upon s square. Minus 1. When you solve the bracket, that means you have to multiply each term of that bracket by this s. So what will happen? This ss will get cancelled. Plus 1. When you multiply this term by s, 1s will get cancelled. 1 minus e raised to minus 2s upon s s square was there but by cancelling 1s you have s only so plus 1 minus 1 will get cancelled again so we'll have 1 minus e raised to minus 2s upon s so this is required answer laplace of f dash of t is equal to 1 minus 
e raise to minus 2s upon s okay so this part also we have completed now let us go for the last part laplace of f double dash of t its uh, formula also we have discussed in previous video its formula is minus f dash of 0 minus s f of 0 plus s square l of f of t so f of 0 we have here l of f of t we have calculated this one simply we don't have f dash of 0 that thing we need to calculate first after that we will go for laplace of f double dash of t okay so i am going to calculate now okay f dash of t that means derivative of t f of t derivative of f of t so f of t we have let us take its derivative what is the derivative of t plus 1 derivative of t is 1 derivative of 1 is 0 the interval is 0 less than or equal to t less than or equal to 2 interval will remain same getting simply we have to take derivative when you take derivative of this one 3 is a constant derivative will be 0 so 0 the interval will be same t greater than 2 so in this way we calculated f dash of t but we are interested in f dash of 0 so that means i have to calculate f dash of 0 i have to put t is equal to 0 now the question is where we have to put t is equal to 0 in first definition or in second definition but see 0 lies in this interval 0 to 2 0 lies in that interval so i should go for the first definition that is 1 so f dash of t is equal to 1 we have we are putting t is equal to 0 here but see 1 is constant you cannot put t is equal to 0 so it will remain same 1 so f dash of 0 1 we have got so let us go for this f double dash of t now laplace of f double dash of t i am writing the formula it is minus f dash of 0 minus s f of 0 plus s square l of f of t that means simply we have to put the values and we have to find out the answer this is equal to f dash of 0 1 so minus 1 i am writing since minus sign is there minus s f of 0 where is my f of 0 its value is 1 so 1 into minus s we will have minus s plus s square okay l of f of t we have its value l of f of t let us put it there 1 by s plus 1 minus e raise to minus 2s upon a square so now we have to solve the bracket that means we have to multiply each term of that bracket by this s square let us see what will happen so minus 1 minus s see when you multiply 1 by s by s square 1 s will get cancelled you will have s okay plus when you multiply the second term by s square since second term in denominator there is a square and again you are multiplying by s square so s square s square will get cancelled and we will have 1 minus e raise to minus 2s that means by solving the bracket we have this thing tell me can we cancel anything yes definitely this minus s plus s will get cancelled having opposite signs this minus 1 plus 1 will get cancelled then what is remaining so the remaining part is minus e raise to minus 2s and this is a required answer so this is laplace of f double dash of t in this way we have calculated okay make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you bye bye